Good morning, welcome back to the channel. My name is Keith, and this is All Things Keith. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you very much. I've got a, quite a few new subscribers recently. I'm up in the uh, Abira Star in. Brain's gone blank there. But the Abira Star in Costa de Decky. Just yeah. Uh, as you can see, it's quite early in the morning. It's quarter to uh, ten to eleven at the moment. So let me just pan you around give you an idea where we are so you have Port de Cologne over there on the left hand side this in front of us is going to be a new market uh, they haven't set it up yet I'm sorry distracted with that up there okay so yeah it's supposed to be starting last week or so but it hasn't they've signs up saying that it's going to be on two days a week but as of yet it hasn't started. So you've got Torviscus and Fanabay Beach here. Just give you a rough idea of where you are. Now, this is take two for me and take one for you. Issues with my camera last week. Ended up not getting this film properly, so I had to come back and do it again. So, as you can see, it's busy, it's beautiful. It's, some beds are as comfy as hell. And what would you, or you have to expect that when you're looking at a hotel of this standard. Now, there's, Two reasons I wanted to come back. One, this is a beautiful hotel. Absolutely stunning. Uh, you've got the sort of privileged lounge, which is up here, which you can pay extra for. Okay, Star Prestige. And you've got this beautiful little sitting, seating area up here. Lifeguard obviously on duty, but it's such a beautiful setting. So, uh, why did I come back to refilm it? Well, one, I really like this place and it needed to be shown. Uh, two, it's got an unusual feature that you don't find in most, or in any, I've never, actually, to be honest with you, I've never seen this feature in any hotel. So I'll wait till the end, or wait till near the end and you'll see what I mean uh, when I get in there. So, location-wise, absolutely fantastic. And as I said, just look around you. This is, luxury i can only imagine the rooms are as pristine as the rest of it is open area is absolutely spotless as you can see there's a guy in a moment wandering around cleaning it as we speak uh, but this is the bit that i really think is unusual not the shop and not the coffee shop but this you don't get many hotels with an art gallery in it. Mascot. <laughs> okay, I love, this is one of my, I love art, but that is just so clever. That is so clever. So this is, down the bottom of the hotel. The matter goes cape. Now art may not be your thing, but to me I just love this. That is beautiful. Seriously, how many hotels do you know? And if, actually, if you do know a hotel that has an art gallery in it, let me know. Because this, is, to me, is just so cool. Well, for those of you who don't know, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, I got two kittens, two little kittens. They're absolutely gorgeous, snowy and smudge. You'll see them on my page from time to time. If I know what the reason, then they're cute. And uh, I like to show them off. What can I say? They are so, they are absolutely adorable. Two almost pure white uh, kittens. We rescued them from uh, a friend of ours as a farm and they were uh, 
born on the farm. Well, not it's not farm, it's just on farmland. They've got a lot of land out in just on the outskirts of Dublin. Uh, and the uh, little mites were were born and we took them over and they are absolutely gorgeous. I have a friend of ours, uh, the friend of ours actually mining them at the moment for us. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to getting back to them. And uh, yeah, that just reminded me of my two little putty cats. So, what do you think? The beer star are an amazing chain of hotels I'm in. I've been at so many of them recently and they all just impress me. There's, there's something, there's a lovely sort of Scandinavian, Scandinavian even, Scandinavian feel to it. Uh, and it's spotlessly clean. Uh, we'll look over here, see what we got. Well, this is the restaurant, which you, uh, you can come into in any way. It doesn't have to be a, uh, it doesn't have to, you don't have to be uh, in the hotel to uh, avail of it. The gourmet market. Now these are lit up at night. Nice place to sit out. As I said, this has been filmed on, uh, it's the 15th, I've lost track of days. It's 15th or 16th of August. It's nearly 11 o'clock. And the temperature is well into the high 20s, 28, 29 degrees. In fact, it's due to hit on Monday, uh, mid early 30s, which would be interesting to see. Now, I love the heat, don't get me wrong. I'm an absolute sun worshiper, I love it. But I can't sit in this anymore, I can't sit in this heat. Maybe it's, maybe it's my age. Maybe I'm getting too old for this uh, sun, sun worshiping. But uh, it's certainly, uh, I just couldn't go for a walk now. I can't do it, which is handy, which is what I do, why I do a lot of my vlogs at certain times when I get a little bit too warm. Nice bar there. Even some non-alcoholic ones. Which I probably should have tried last night. Uh, feeling a little bit worse for wear. Now, actually, I have an apology to make to a viewer. I met somebody last night in a bar in Soul City. It's the bar beside my, uh, our apartment. And uh, yeah, I was, I'm, I'm not kind of used to being, well, I'm actually not, not kind of used. I'm not used to being uh, recognised anywhere. So when someone comes to me in a bar and asks me, I was like, Keith, I thought, mm, okay, I don't know who you are. And I, it never even dawned on me that it was from this that they copped who I was, until they explained they, re they recognised me from YouTube and whatever. So my apologies, uh, I should have asked your name and I didn't, we, we spoke for a few minutes. And uh, yeah, as I said, you just caught me on the hop. I'm not used to being uh, being recognised. So anyway, thank you, uh, and thank you for your subscription. Thank you for stopping to say hello. And uh, yeah, anyone else sees me and they do want to stop and say hello, please do. It, that's part of this game. Uh, comes with the territory. Uh, I'll be a little bit better prepared the next time. But uh, again, please, if you're watching this, put your name in the comment, and if I see you again. I'll give you a shout out and I'll remember who you are. But I uh, didn't uh, just, as I said, my apologies because you caught me on the hop. Wasn't expecting. Uh, it just didn't dawn on me that someone recognised me. Anyway, thank you. And also thank you to everybody who's watched to the end here. And the channel is growing. It's growing steadily now at this stage. And. I couldn't be happier, I'm just delighted with it. I really am pleased that things are starting to move. And I'm back obviously in Tenerife, which I love. I do have a little trip planned to Paris for the uh, Halloween bank holiday. I'll do a couple of vlogs from Paris as well. And uh, then I'm back over here for Christmas. And then I have a few plans for, for back in Dublin again, some more, some evening ones, some nighttime, some nighttime vlogs. 
give you an idea of what it's like touristy wise in the evening time in Dublin so we'll, we'll be go I'll be going through those with you now one of the things a lot of people ask is for recommendations for a good cocktail bar there's actually three in this area you're far fresh down there literally where that shop in the orange top is you have unique here on the corner again always busy always always busy now I might have to shout a bit for you to hear me over this they're actually cleaning the road which is brilliant pathway in this area does need to be cleaned the uh, seeds from the trees when people walk on them actually stain the floor and it becomes quite sticky and it, it, it picks up dirt really easily so yeah the last possible or the last possible the last place in this area now you do have Tanios down the hill from Barfresh the first place I showed you they do good cocktails across from there is Hugo's they do really good this looks like I'm gonna have to do a blog on cocktails <laughs> I think I'll leave it I actually think that's what I'll do I'll do another vlog for you just on cocktails okay so that was the Abira star so let's hope you enjoyed it I did I love the fact that it's got an art gallery in the bottom of it I just think it's amazing a uh, fabulous hotel and again if you're staying in it or if you have stayed in it drop a message let me know what it was like let me know what the rooms are like it looks absolutely fabulous okay hit the like subscribe bell for notification and I'll talk to you soon. Slow.